Okay, hi guys, it's uh, the Toad. Now, this is just a really quick video, just to tell you what my thoughts are on this lovely Ontario Knifeworks Old Degree Boulder. Now, I've been looking around with it overnight and I really, 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 really like this knife. I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. There's a, uh, it even smells nice. Oh, yeah, I don't know what it is, but something smells really nice. The finish on there is excellent, absolutely excellent. It almost looks like it's never been near the human hand. It's all machine only works, but you can see that scale is actually a fraction wide in that scale. And there's definitely, uh, there's gap in that over there, and if you actually have a close look, which you can't really see here, at the end there, there's a couple of little bits where it's not quite fitted properly, but that gives it its individualness. But I love this. This is every now and again, I get a knife and it makes me go, wow, and this is one of them. I love this as well. This is a great way of opening. Really, really feels good. Nice and positive. That ink, that blade is not going anywhere. It really isn't. I'm trying to cut myself. Oops. You see the half stop? Hang on, I'm going to put my glove on because I'm going to end up cutting myself. And I bleed badly because of the uh, blood thinners I take. So. I don't, I don't want to get blood all over the carpet today. My, whoops, get this away from that microphone because it makes it crackle. Yeah, sorry. Because my dear lady is at home and she will not be impressed if I splatter blood all over the place, as you can imagine. That's better, right. So, I'll stop. That is good, I like that. Like I said, this knife blade is put together really well. This is not going to close. I am definitely going to buy another one of these because I want one for my collection to put in the uh, boulder. And uh, I want another one as a user because I like this. This is going to be my take the user for quite a while to come. I mean, I say that with a lot of knives. The um, case sodbuster I got recently that impressed me a lot, but this is just as much as an impressive knife. I can't say how much this this is beauty. Look at that blade. I do like a spear point. I'm not a big fan of um, uh, clip point blades. They're okay, but they seem to be overused for me. I do. I like a clip. I like a spear blade. Spear point. That is lovely. It's UK legal. That is a very sharp blade. Believe me. Look at that. It's, I think it's 10.95. I did read that somewhere, but I might be wrong about that. It's carbon steel, but I'm pretty sure it's 95. There's no silly, shiny blade here. You're not gonna have to worry about fingerprints. This is a user knife. This is, believe me, this is lovely. Small, small little thing. As I've already said, and people have also said, that gap in, I don't know what happened there. When that happened, somebody weren't paying attention. That they shouldn't be that far apart, it looks hard. But as I say, I might just put cast something in there anyway. But so, thing is, what I like with this you can have this in your pocket, it's going to bang around with your keys. You don't need a slip for it. You don't matter if this thing gets a bit knocked about, it's but it's going to give it more character. So it's going to bang around with your keys and you change if your scratch is on. Oh, well, hey, -oh. this is going to last. A lifetime. I have not been impressed so much with a knife for ages. This is a beauty. I highly recommend it. Finished lovely. There's, I believe it's old hickory wood. Hickory wood. You know, I don't know much about wood. But look at that. Even the shape. I mean, that's not your normal shape. Look at that. Like I said, that ain't going anywhere. So there we go, Ontario, you did a good job with this. 
Ontario Knife Works. I'm very impressed. Thank you very much. I'll be getting more from you when I can, but I'm definitely going to get another one of these. And like I said, if any of you like uh, boulders like myself, it's like here, you know, is it? There's a little chip, if you can see it. A little chip just there. And this is how it's come. Is it focused in enough for you to see that? Make it sound like on, I think you can see it. To me, that means nothing. It's not a hugely expensive knife either. This is the thing. It's in the medium range of budget knives. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's not a £20 knife. It's not an £80, £90 knife. I think it's around 50 It's worth every penny. It really is. I've got lots of uh, rough riders. I think about... Well, I don't know. I've got counts on It's easier. I've got 80 not more rough riders. And obviously you get the other budget knives, you know, like the likes of the uh, Queen and the... Uh, um, I can't think of the name of the other ones. Marbles, that type of thing. Oh, yeah, they're good. They're good. But they're... Although they say, you know, like rough riders say they're handmade, and they probably are. They're hand put together. But they often lack individuality. This has got... It's own personality, and that's what I like about it, and it will grow. This is like the kind of knife your granddad would have had. And if you have a granddad, buy him one, because he'll love it. Once again, the Olicary from Ontario Knife Works. This is a boulder. I look it out, as I say, I think I said on before on another video, I've heard that they are closing down and somebody else has took them over and they might well be uh, discontinuing this range. Who knows if that's the case, you need to buy it now. That's one of the reasons I'm buying another one. There it is. That is lovely. Everything about this, I mean, it's sharp enough there if you need to do any anything with a steel or anything you know what I mean that has got a good a good edge there as well you know as a scraper if that's what you do I've done that before it's there look at that good that's enough of my raving yep Time's up. I won't waste more time talking about this for now. And there we go. A wheel cracker. I love this. Well done, guys. You made a nice knife. You made an old man very happy. And it feels warm in the hand. It's got personality to this knife. Very impressed. So, until next time, as always, stay safe, stay sharp. And it's uh, goodbye from the toad.